click greetings you've clicked on an lgr blurbs video uh, about a clicky thing yeah this is the hdd clicker inside of here just arrived from certico today i uh, bought it from them as soon as it went up for pre-order um yeah i'll see what we got here so i, I ordered a little bit of extra stuff too just just in case i don't know but here's the main event uh, that's the price there it came to 56 and a half euros at least to get it here in the u.s but uh that's with some extra stuff you know the thing on its own is 34. so there was this video that went kind of viral you know sort of <laughs> in retro circles uh, especially among the lgr community um from uh, root 42 here and they put together this project the hdd clicker to add hard disk sounds back to compact flash sd card ssd any kind of solid state, non-spinny hard disk solution that you'd get on retro PCs. Cause you know, those things are daggum silent now. And you don't get any of that, well, clicky noise. <laughs> the good kind, I presume. I'm assuming there's no head crash noises that this replicates, that would be kind of funny. But anyway, yeah, it, this just, it appeared on all kinds of websites and the social medias and I have gotten so many requests to cover this thing. So here we are. Let's see what it's like to use, because to be honest, I, I don't know exactly how it works. We'll figure it out. I'm sure it's not too crazy. Ooh, look at that. Lovely 3D printed case. Serta Shop always does pretty darn good stuff. Covered a lot, a lot of their products over the years here in LGR Blurbs and LGR and oh yeah. So we got Molex right there. There's, I'm assuming, well, one of these sides is where your, uh, hard disk activity LED is going to plug into from the motherboard or from your hard disk controller to this and then this will pass through the LED to the front of your case or whatever. And then in between there you got this little uh, piezo electric beeper there, little speaker, and then that replicates hard disk activity sound. So instead of just having silent lights, you can actually hear kind of what it's doing. Uh, there's a little button here, I don't know what that does. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Uh, and it's kind of like these little mounting holes. That's cool. Don't know where it's supposed to mount, but I guess we can just put it anywhere. Yeah, I really just like this idea a whole lot. I've been wanting something like this for years, and that might sound crazy to you. You might think, oh, why would you want to bring back hard disk noises? Well, I, I don't always, but in certain situations, I really do. It depends on the machine, the kind of setup that's going on there, the kind of effect that I'm going for, uh, while making videos or just bringing back some of that original 90s feeling <laughs> not uh, so i have questions about this i don't actually know uh what kind of hard disk activity noises it's going for because a lot of different drives sound different maybe those sounds can be customized i don't know yeah in certain situations this seems in my mind to make a lot of sense and i've seen it make sense and be really darn cool on uh, some other devices that i've messed around with and seen over the years, like um, uh, different floppy disk emulators, uh, especially those for Commodore Amiga systems, you know, some of the GoTek things, some of the community built projects. Some of those have little built-in speakers, pretty similar to this, and uh, those emulate floppy drive noises. But I don't think I've seen one for the hard disk. In theory, this sounds like it could be really cool. It might be awful. <laughs> I don't know. I might like this. I might like the idea of it better than I actually like the execution. That's what we're here to find out. Just being able to hear the physical activity going on in a hard disk, like you, you miss that on retro systems, especially where pure silence is kind of disconcerting and you're like, ah, oh, crap, is it broken? Is something, is it actually doing something? I don't know. It's sometimes just nice to be able to hear the daggum thing as opposed to only having a visual indication of activity. Oh yeah, and there's also these other things that I ordered uh, another hard disk LED cable, because why not? I can always use a spare one of those, so yeah, whatever. A Velcro mounting, I think I'm just going to use that instead of screwing it in, because I mean, it's going in an aluminum case. I don't want to screw it into that. All right, yeah, let's do this. All right, Mega Aluminum Monster, ready to install it in here. I've got a SD card adapter right here, but I, I do also have an SSD as a secondary drive, but I'm just gonna go with uh, this one right here since this is the operating system and all that. So yeah, this wire here actually connects to 
the hard disk indicator on the case itself. It doesn't go to the motherboard because the actual connection is on the SD adapter itself. It's been a while since I've done anything with this drive <laughs> or this adapter. Now with the front of the case removed, you can more easily see the hard disk LED connection there. So just gonna be taking that and plugging it into the HDD clicker. Do kind of wish this were longer now. <laughs> now that I think about it, it'd be nice to have like an 18 inch one instead of a, what is this, 10 or 12? All right, so SD card adapter. The output for HDD indicator goes here. And then this other one, this goes out to the indicator LED itself on the case. So that's right there. Apparently this is an optional one to connect to the power LED on the case. Not exactly sure what that would be used for, but it's there. And then this duplicates the signal there. So you can send it to another noise maker. And uh, yeah, this button apparently is just a test button to test the sound. And then power, just plug that in right there. Nice. Okay. So that's that. I guess I'll just uh, mount it right about here. Why not? Sweet. Okay, well, look at that little thing. It's gonna be pretty neat if it works as well as I hope it does. Let us uh, get it all plugged back in and test this sucker out. All right, all the side panels back on, it's all hooked up. Let's just see how this goes. Saw the LED light up, but we probably won't be hearing any sound here for a little bit. Mm, this lovely monitor. <laughs> 21 inches of glory. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's super weird. That's pretty cool. Um, I, I don't know how much it sounds like a hard disk drive, but it's definitely clicking in time with the LED. Here's, uh, here's another angle of the computer loading up, doing some scan disk. Yeah, here it's just kind of going through these repetitive loops. I mean, <laughs> it's not gonna be exactly the patterns of a hard disk drive. Of course, this is, this is loading off of an SD card here, but I don't know. It could just depend on where it's mounted as well. Um, honestly, it seems just a, a tiny bit too loud to me. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Obviously you could put uh, a little bit of tape or mount it somewhere different, but yeah, again, like I was saying earlier, you know, it depends on what kind of hard disk drive they were seeking to mimic here. Um, this is one of the clickiest, you know, just your, your Western digital caviar style thing almost. Uh, I don't know, I'm, not, I'm not even sure I could place what this exactly sounds like. It is, however, doing what it's supposed to, and that's pretty cool. Okay, just browsing around though, that's pretty convincing sounding. <laughs> I gotta say, this is pretty cool. Uh, oh man, so two things. I'm wishing that there was a, a volume adjustment. Uh, I'm gonna try some tape over here and moving it around in a second. Uh, volume adjustment would be nice. Just, 
Yeah, but also like uh, either uh, an equalizer kind of equalization make it sound less harsh, less less shrill, less clicky, and more like subdued. Because there's a lot of really soothing, like grumbly kind of crumply sounding. I don't know. There's there's so many different hard disk noises. I saw that there was a header on the board as well to um, do some reprogramming, servicing something, flashing to firmware perhaps. If you could change around like the sound font, so to speak, or the hard disk sound with uh, different click noises, that would be incredible. Um, and, and maybe like an element of randomness as well. I guess that would be my third wish here, just messing around with this. Yeah, because the seek noises seem to match up directly with the LED. And that's not always how hard disks worked necessarily. Uh, at least in my experience, you know, you'll get different noises of the uh, the, the platter, the heads moving. The, the clicks don't sound as steady as they do in certain situations here. Like when Windows was loading up, it was like just an element of randomness in the, the way the clicks happen or respond to, yeah, the, the signals from the hard disk controller or the SD card interface in this case. This is so cool though. I'm not trying to take away from it. I love this. I really do. I'm going to keep this installed. Maybe not in this machine, but definitely in one of my other ones that I have. Uh, you know, it's like an older computer, but it's running completely off of flash. That makes a lot of sense to me. You know, a Windows 98 machine here, you know, whatever. I don't necessarily need that hard disk sound. Um, but yeah, I, let's hear it. I'm going to disk defrag. Let's go do this. Yeah, defragmenting does kind of sound like this anyway when you first start it up. Again, on certain drives. All right, well, I'm going to uh, get a little tape here and just or mess around. I am gonna, I'm gonna see what I can do without the sound. Wow, yeah. That just clearly sounds like a PC speaker that's broken. <laughs> it definitely helps to have it covered up a bit. So that's why I'm thinking uh, either in a slightly different position or a little bit of tape might change the acoustics just a tad. Well, don't stop clicking. There you go. Well, that's not, that's interesting. Put this back on there. Okay, I definitely like that a little bit more acoustically. It definitely changes it a lot. It's still slightly too loud to my ear anyway. At least for a hard disk of like <laughs> Windows 98 era. Or even like 80s ones, they can be really quiet and more, more shrill, less clicky, more of like a mechanical going back and forth. There's just so many different sounds of hard disks. All right, let me stop this defrag. Let's get uh, Duke 3D going here. Even as it is, with nothing different, um, I don't I don't dislike this at all. I, I think it's really, really cool. Um, props to the guy who put this together and started a shop for selling this as a product. I think this is super neat. I just um, I wish there were a way to adjust the volume and change the, the tone of it, really, without having to resort to moving it around and uh, putting tape over it and things like that. Or just being able to change out the individual clicking sound. I, I, there's only so, the thing is, there's only so much that kind of little piezoelectric beeper can do, right? It's going to have very obvious physical limitations, <laughs> uh, I'm sure, in terms of what it can reproduce acoustically. That being said, I do like it a lot more with the tape over it like this. I'm going to definitely leave it just as is for now, but like I said, in another system because I don't really want this one clicking. Yeah. All right. Well. I think it's pretty darn cool. Definitely not for everyone. If you want your stuff to stay silent, I mean, obviously don't get it. But uh, yeah, if, if you're a bit of a weirdo like me and can see some use cases for this, I mean, I, I think that I think this is super cool, super niche, super enjoyable. Thanks for watching this blurb.